I'm going to try something different today. I feel like I say that every time, but you know, you never get new results if you don't try something different. The differences are, I feel like I have been rushing through some of my paintings just to make videos. So today I'm going to allow myself an hour to paint and I'm going to wear my headphones because of copyright issues, you can't hear my music. And I'm just going to know that if it goes too long, if there's boring spots, I can fast forward through them for you, for efficiency's sake. Or if I wanna stop and talk to you, I can do that as well. But I'm not going to pressure myself to boom, 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 technique finished, here's the product. I want to allow myself a little time to experiment and play today. I'm experimenting on a large canvas. This is three feet by four feet, 36 inches by 48 inches. I have painted on it before, as you see. It was unsuccessful because I tried to cut down on, on, on both of those mediums with the pigment in order to make a thicker paint. And I also was doing some other things like not straining my flow trial. Anyways, I ended up with a painting that had a lot of crazing and crevices. So I painted over it and the crazing just came through to the second painting because of the textural differences. What I've done is I have actually painted some textured gel on this on purpose to sort of create some valleys and crevices and it is it's like a sand sand gel so it's really rough on the touch but I'm hoping that maybe that shows through and just adds a little added interest maybe it'll snag the paint in some interesting ways as I play with it the color scheme I'm going to be using today is my ultramarine blue this is an indigo mixture that is ultramarine blue with quinacridone magenta added to make it a little bit more purpley. Ultramarine blue is already on the redder side, the warmer blues. Then I have a little, uh, just a, it's, I, it looks full, but it's not. There's only like this much in there of a tint of my ultramarine blue. I have my white. I'm going to coat the canvas with my ultramarine blue and then I'm going to start with some white and some other blues so we'll see. You ready?
I definitely got into it and could not talk, just jammed to my music and messed. And I'm pretty happy with what I got. I wish I could get a wider shot. Let's see. There we go. I don't know how much glare is in there. This is just the wet shot anyway. We'll definitely get a better one once it dries. I probably would have messed with this thing for another hour, but I ran out of time. I have an obligation. So let's just zoom in and see the details. I just love the contrast between this ultramarine blue and white and all the different values that happen where they mix. Um, maybe right there, can you see some of the texture peeking through? There's like some bumpiness. I ended up not working with that texture that I painted. Uh, but as it dries, that's definitely going to show up more and more. You can see it in the glare there. See, there's like some hills and valleys in the paint some sandy dryness going on. That, that might end up ruining the whole vibe I have going here. But again, this was just sort of an experiment to see if I allowed myself time to focus and play, if I could come up with something a little more dynamic. And I feel like I did. Like This definitely feels to me I can't get away from the water scenes, but this definitely feels like we're underneath the surface of the water and there's something that has swam by that's released a bunch of bubbles or those are jellyfish just under the surface of the water. I dig it, I dig it a lot. I'm excited, I can't wait to see how it dries. I mean, there's just some really gorgeous stuff going on in lots and lots of places. But I gotta go, so we'll revisit it another day. This painting has dried for several days and actually it's been more like a week. I like it, but I don't like the texture. So we're gonna cover it up with some resin, which is why I have my handy dandy respirator here. The painting itself is lovely and huge, so huge I'm standing on a chair for you to be able to see the whole thing. Uh, I like it, it's sort of like that is the surface of the water, we're underneath the water and this is like bubbles that are rising to the surface and there's some depth. You can just see on forever in the background. I like it. So we'll try doing a resin coating and see how it goes. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com. Bye. Hey, one more thing. If you haven't visited my channel lately, you might not know that I have a new playlist called Resin, incorporating into my acrylic pore paintings. On this playlist, we have some instructional videos at the beginning, and then it goes to more demonstrational videos where you see how I do my layering technique, there are almost 30 videos that show different ways that I've incorporated resin under, between, and on top of different artworks. So check it out. Let me know what you think.
It's a whole playlist just for those of you that are resin lovers.